Hello my ninjas! It's the Purple Ninja here and I'm finally going to accomplish one of the things this channel was made for and that's reading some of my original, well, some of my fanfiction off of the website Wattpad. I will link the story in question um, in the description below. I will be using two phones, so the angle will be a little off, but let, let's get going. Um, truthfully, I was rather terrified to do this, mostly because, um, well, um, as a fanfic writer, I love my stories. I'm rather proud of them, but there are some of my older works that are a little bit cringeworthy, um, and we're going to dive right into one of them. Um, mostly because reasons. Um, anyway, phone issues here. Um, this is called Artemis's Daughter, a Young Justice fan fiction. And this is the inter this is the description. What if the maiden goddess had a daughter and she joined the Young Justice team? How would they react? How will they react to her powers and skills? And how will a certain birdie react when he finds out that he she and him once flew together? Flew is in quotation marks. I wrote this um when did I write this? Um, a really long time ago. This was when I was a noob. So there will be cringy parts. There will be downright questionable writing. Um, I trust you guys enough not to uh, cut loose in the comments and spam me and tell me I suck. And I'm not doing this for plus plub plub plubis for fan to get more fans. Okay. Anyway, prologue. Artemis looked at her at the newborn in her arms, with the baby having her her auburn hair and green eyes. She looked very much like her mother, but Artemis knew she had if she kept the baby, she would be putting her daughter in danger. Are you sure? Mary Grayson asked Artemis. Mary had been a hunter and a close and close friends with Artemis before she had left the hunt. Yes, there is no other way. Hey, Artemis said, handing Mary the baby. And then Artemis vanished into thin air, leaving her only daughter her behind. Mary Grayson looked at the baby and thought of a fern because of the baby's green eyes. Welcome to the family, fern, Mary said, taking the baby to show in, in to show her husband and baby son. Time skip, eight years. <sighs> Are you ready, my little Robin and Finch? Mary Grayson asked both the children she cared for. One was our son, Richard, and the other was Fern. Mom, do we have to wear these costumes? They itch. Richard Grayson asked his mom, mother, pulling on the collar of his suit. It was red with black pants. Fern had a red top, but green bottoms with a green skirt. Your mother worked really hard. Your mom worked really hard on them, um, Dick. Be n so be nice, Fern said, telling her adoptive brother off. Um, no, this is not incest. Um, and she's not officially adopted also. She's just part of the family. They see each other like siblings. Moving on. I know, it's just itchy, Dick said, pow pouting as the whole family stepped out from behind the curtains when their name was called by Mr. Haley, the circus's ringmaster. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, please welcome the daring, the extraordinary, the unbelievable Flying Graysons, Mr. Haley shouted from the spot as a spotlight fell on the small family. Yeah. After the Flying Grayson's fall. Lazy writing. Man, I forgot how bad I was. A man took away a dick, leaving Fern to sit waiting for someone else to take her away. This time it was a woman with dark, with black hair and brown eyes. She looked, Fern looked down at her small suitcase. It was all she had. Around her necklace hung a friendship necklace 
that will never be mentioned again in the whole story. He. <laughs> it was a tiny finch. Dick had the other half, which was shaped like a robin. Cute, but... Uh, let's just say, useless object in the story. I'm that good at it. Uh, she hoped that he would never forget her, just like she knew that she would never forget him. As the woman, as she and the woman left, the woman changed into a completely different person, with long, curly auburn hair and green eyes, just like Vern. Welcome to the daughter. Ah, welcome to the hunt, my daughter. Artemis said to her child. Okay, I'm going to stop there, mostly because I don't want a four-hour-long video. I will link this story and its sequels in the description box down below. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, please comment if you want me to keep going. Um, give it a like, too. And feel free to check it out. It is on Wattpad. Like I said, the description will be in the box below. Ah, the link will be in the box below, so... Peace out, ninjas!